Welcome to How to Make Money Fast as an Affiliate Marketer, even if you're in a shoestring budget in as little as an hour using web video. The first thing, of course, is you need a computer and you need web access and email. And you need to sign up for a PayPal account because if you're going to get paid, you're going to want to receive your money in, in PayPal. Now, you can receive checks, but it's not as immediate, and I just recommend that. Next thing is you'll have to spend about $7.50 to buy a domain, okay? But anyone can do that, and I'll show you how it's done if you haven't done it before. And the first time you do this, it takes about one to four hours to set up. So now the first thing that you need to do is sign up as a ClickBank affiliate. So if you just go to ClickBank.com, you click on the sign up link, you're going to get a form that looks like this, and you're just going to have to fill out the form. It's super easy. Anyone can do it. It doesn't matter what country you're in or, you know, it, you've got, there's no limitations here. Anyone can promote ClickBank products no matter what country you're in, okay? Next thing you have to do is pick a product that you're going to promote. And this, of course, is what confuses most people, but I'm going to make it really easy for you so you can pick a product that's not only going to be pro um, uh, worth promoting, but is going to actually get you some results. So let me share that with you right now. Okay, what you do is you go to ClickBank and you click on the Marketplace link in the top. And all you do is select a category. Now, I'm going to show you what I did in the next slide. I uh, selected under the category, I chose that pop-up there, and I chose Health and Fitness. Okay, I did that because it was easy. And then I just clicked on the Go button. And immediately what happened is you get a list of all sorts of products that are being sold. And the one that kind of popped out at me was this one that says Panic Away, End Anxiety and Panic Attacks. Okay, And what you see there, the first thing is it says dollars per sale is $40. And if you look across to the fourth area, it says percent to sale, 65%. So they're paying a 65% commission on this thing. And again, it, popped my, it, it caught my eyes, but because I was sorting by popularity, you'll see that in the top, these are the most popular, it basically just says here are the most popular products based upon sales and uh, volume of sales, okay? That's what the gravity is, the G-R-A-V, which is the last item. So I thought, okay, well this is something that A, kind of catches my eye, and again, I'm going to help you determine this because, of course, it was just on my gut feeling, but I'm going to take away all the gut reactions here in a moment. I'll show you how to do that. What I did then is I clicked on the link that said View Pitch Page. And I was prompted with a little website, and you can see Immediate Anxiety Relief, a natural technique to stop panic attacks and general anxiety fast. There's a little video on there. It had plenty of testimonials on it. And as I scrolled through, there was lots of reasons why that product, someone would want that product. You know, I saw some badges there. So it had a feeling of legitimacy. It was a pretty well done sales page, and I could see a lot of text that I'd be able to use. And I'll tell you why in a moment. Okay? So that in itself was pretty cool. So what I did then is I grabbed a couple keywords from the sales page, and the ones that pop out right away are immediate anxiety relief and stop panic attacks, okay? So I thought, all right, well, those are some, uh, you know, frequently searched for keywords, at least I thought they would be, and again, this page looked legitimate after examining it, and this is something you can look through the first, you know, the top 10 that um, ClickBank would give you. So what I did next is I brought up my good friend Google and I typed stop panic attacks into the box I clicked the search and I noticed right away that the results are about 426,000 competing pages now what my rule is and this is the first thing that you want to write down is anytime there are fewer than 300,000 results you know you know you're onto something that has very little competition Okay. The other thing to look for is any time that you see sponsored links on the right, you know you're in a space that most likely is profitable. In other words, people are paying for ads there, and it's generating results. So it tells you that that is probably making someone money. Right? Now, again, my general rule of thumb is anything under 300000 is something that I'm going to go after. But in this case, it was 426000 So I'll give you some other reasons why in a little while. But I thought, I'm going to take a stab at this. All right? So the next thing you do is in Google, type in Google keyword AdWords. 
Why? Because you're going to get this little link that you'll see below that says Google AdWords Keyword Tool. Because what you really want to do is find out how frequently someone is searching for that keyword phrase. So what you get is this keyword tool and you can type in the keyword phrase and you can put in as many as you want. So you can get a list of them from a sales page of what looks like good combinations because someone would most likely type in stop panic attacks if they wanted to stop their panic attacks. And once you do that, what you're going to get from Google is a list of how frequently that keyword phrase is searched for and you're also going to get a whole bunch of additional keyword phrases. All right, so stop panic attacks. It tells us that we're about 2,900 searches in October. Average search is about 3,600. How to stop panic attacks is another one. And, um, you know, maybe what we can do is just bring that up and go on Google right now and type in how to stop panic attacks. Let's just see how many searches there are. There. Well, there's 474,000. For that one. So it tells us again, it's just a little bit past what we'd probably want to go after. All right. And then if you look below, we've got stop panic attack, anxiety panic, panic attacks, overcoming panic attacks, okay, which, um, you know, have fewer, but uh, so you have a thousand searches. But the bottom line is, you look for keywords that are action oriented things that people would search for if they want to get rid of stop or fix whatever that thing is right now so um, if someone was uh, typing in what are panic attacks they might be interested or curious but it doesn't exactly mean they're gonna wanna get rid of it right now but someone who types in how to stop panic attacks is probably looking to get rid of it so again you're looking for pain phrases well, after this, I decided that I wanted to promote this product. So what I did is I, to get an affiliate link, what we do, and I'll show you exactly where this is. If we go back to our friend over here at ClickBank. And I'm going to search under health and fitness. Just leave this all at default. Okay. And right here is this link that says create hop link. And when I click on that, I get this little link here. Okay, and at this point, I type in my um, ClickBank nickname, which is whatever the ClickBank actually gives. This right now is the link that will actually drive people as an affiliate to buy this product. So let me bring up, and I'm going to paste that into here. And when I go there, what's going to happen is it goes right to this site. And if someone used that link to go to this site, I would get paid as an affiliate if they purchased the product. It's that simple. Now the next thing that I'd want to do is no one's going to want to click on a big ugly link like that one. So what you want to do is set up a domain that will allow you to forward that automatically. So what I did is I registered a domain at GoDaddy. That's real easy. I just went back, found some keywords that I liked, and I came up with an idea for a, a, a web domain that I wanted to register, and I typed that in the box. Well, the one that I decided to take was howtostopapanicattack.com. And uh, it immediately um, accepted that. It turned out that was something that, um, again, used the keywords, and uh, it it was available so I went in and I basically followed the um, step step by step to buy the domain and here you can see I got something that's an upsell inside of GoDaddy and I just ignore those and um, it's and here you can see I brought up how to stop a panic attack and there's a way to save some money because the normal price is nine dollars and ninety nine cents for the domain if you type in Dignation in the code box below you'll see that here and click on apply code you'll see that my shopping cart then updated to be $7.69. Well, $7.49 plus a little bit of tax. Well, that's all I had to do. There's only one other step because I need to make this domain point to that special affiliate link that ClickBank gave me. Well, in order to do that, I logged into my GoDaddy account. I clicked on the domain I just bought. And there is a little link that's under forwarding. You click on that and you'll get a box. And all you do is type in that affiliate link that ClickBank gives to you.
Okay, here you can see I pasted it in there. I checked the box that said enable forwarding. And then I checked the little radio button that says 301 moved permanently. That doesn't really, you don't have to know what that means. You just need to click on it and then click on your OK box and you're all set to go. And just to show you what happens, I'm going to go here and type in how to stop a panic attack.com. And when I hit that, you'll notice that my special affiliate link appeared. And even though nothing actually updated here, I actually went to that site. So I'll do it one more time for you to see it. How to stop a panic attack.com. Okay, there it is. It forwarded to that website. So now, anytime someone goes to that domain and buys the product, I get paid. And I didn't need to buy or set up my own website. I'm using someone else's. So that's basically the basis behind this. But the next question is, how are we going to get traffic using our domain name so people buy that, that product? And that's the next part here is in making some slides. So what you want to do is you want to go back to the web page and find bullet points and headlines that are on there and uh, make some slides in PowerPoint. I usually use PowerPoint because it's easy and fast and we're going to export that PowerPoint as slides. Now the one thing I'm going to tell you is when I say swipe I don't necessarily mean copy exact word for word because technically that is copyright infringement. I'm not an attorney, I'm not giving you legal advice, I'm just telling you that unless you get explicit permission from your affiliate you should not copy words and sentences exact. All right. Now most uh, affiliates in my experience will let you do that if you ask them but what I'd say is paraphrase it. All right. So what I did is I just went down here and I found some of the copy and you remember there were bullet points and stuff like that. There was lots of stuff that I could work with. So once you make the slideshow and I'll show you what it looks like in a moment, you're going to end up uploading your slides. You can actually make a video with a couple of clicks and I'll show you exactly how that's done. Now by the way, you can get free graphics at a few sites here. One is freephoto.com Another one is sxc.hu, and the third one is morgafile.com. It's a great way to dress up your little slideshow, and you don't have to pay any money at all to get these pictures. So here's what I did. I went and I found, um, in this case, for this example, I grabbed some pictures right off of the site, which, um, again, technically you need permission to do that. And I just dropped this right into PowerPoint. And what's great is PowerPoint includes a bunch of nice looking templates. They call them themes that are built in that make your slideshow look really professional. And this whole thing took me not even 15 minutes to do. So I went in and I grabbed some of the bullet points and I just went through them bullet point by bullet point and paraphrased them just a little bit. And I made a three or actually a four slideshow presentation. Okay. That's all there was to it. Next, under the file menu, there's something that says save as pictures. And what I did is I just saved all four of my slides as JPEGs. It's just built right into PowerPoint. The whole process is very easy to do. Important is that you actually are just getting something out there that is keyword loaded so it gets found. And let me share with you how that works right now so it makes sense. Again, what I do is I go out and I find keywords from the sales page. And I also look for a description from the sales page that describes the product. We use our domain that we registered. So I'll give you an example of what I did. I looked through here, just sifted through the, the actual sales page, and I came up with a bunch of titles. One was Stop Panic Attacks, another one is How to Stop Panic Attacks, Stop Anxiety Attacks, How to Stop Anxiety Attacks. The domain that I'm sending people is actually How to Stop a Panic Attack. Okay, And I just grabbed, you know, for my description, Get Immediate Anxiety Relief Using a Natural Technique to Stop Panic Attacks and General Anxiety Fast. So again, I'm just taking what's already on the page and I found the keywords that I'm searching for. Again, I'm just grabbing keywords that I know get searched for according to Google. Google's going to tell us because they're in the business of selling ads, so they're going to give us good information. 